When the Open Division Tournament, Breakable Barriers NA, was announced, nobody expected the star-studded rosters that resulted from past pros and streamers wanting to play in something competitive that wasn't the Overwatch League. Big names like Jake, Custa, Yeetle, Silkthread, Kabaji, Asking, and even XQC found themselves on Open Division teams. The inclusion of players like these garnered a lot of attention, despite a lack of advertising and marketing from Blizzard themselves. Because of the loose broadcasting rules regarding streams, players were allowed to stream their perspective with a generous delay. This naturally brought a lot more attention to the tournament, especially with streaming titans like XQC participating. However, since XQC's team OK Boomer got rolled early on, we are going to be looking at the Skyfox's results, specifically the performance of Asking. The French McCree main, who's been touted as potentially the best Cree in the scene. Given how the current meta tends to steer towards running Orisa, Sigma, Mei, Hanzo, Baptiste, and Zenyatta, Yidl's team, Old Man Strength, decided to run a comp built around his Wrecking Ball, with a Fire Mercy to counter the lack of Hitscan. Mei and Hanzo would have a hard time dealing with a Pocket Farah, so you're probably going to need a Hitscan Specialist which is where Asking comes in. You can immediately see the pressure that a competent McCree can put on a Far Mercy, as Asking constantly keeps them in check. While McCree is roaming, Farah doesn't have the freedom to get key picks on Skyfox supports, so she's forced to pour all her resources into dealing with the Cowboy. Since Farah will almost always be at a range, Asking can hold onto his flashbang for Ball, which conveniently halts all momentum he may have. Like seen here, a Nano Yeetle is a huge threat, but is stopped short due to a well-timed pocket sand. As Dimes comes in for the barrage, basically everyone hits Q and the Sky Foxes take the map. And as a reminder, Asking is playing on an average of 120 milliseconds of ping. In the next map, it's a full stomp on the side of the Sky Foxes. Even with Asking on Hanzo, Old Man Strength's Far Mercy combo is rendered useless, unable to compete. This takes us to the next map. There's a minute 30 left on the first point, and Old Man Strength has both tank ults and both support ults coming up. By all means, they should have the advantage here. Salty's barrier gets destroyed early, and Asking goes in for the flank. Securing a crucial pick on Hazard's Hanzo early gives him space to continue to do what he pleases. He eliminates Mei as well, and suddenly Red Team lacks a DPS line, and they fall apart. This is an example of how crucial initial picks are in the current meta of Overwatch. Skipping ahead to Old Man Strength's final push into overtime, once again the Skyfoxes fall into the disadvantage, losing their Sigma incredibly early to Dragon. Skyfoxes pop Bongo, Blizzard, Window, and Trans in a reckless attempt to mitigate their losses, but Asking sees this not as a loss, but an opportunity. He makes his way on top of the gas station and shoots a log at Zen, netting his first pick of the fight. As he makes his way perpendicular to the enemy team, they remain clueless as to his position, which allows him to easily take care of Hanzo. With Baptiste and Sigma being the only remaining red team, they once again fall apart. Old Man Strength not having anything go their way this time as their push will be stopped short of those doors. What about this guy on Tracer? As we can see here, despite having 130 milliseconds of ping, he lands a beautiful stick on Hazard's Hanzo, initiating the fight against the last push from Old Man Strength. No worries, right? OMS has a bunker on the high ground with Bongo active, and a healthy Fire Mercy in the sky. But watch how Asking single-handedly dismantles their support line, first one-clipping Moira out of her fade and chasing Mercy out of position. Without heals, OMS falls and can't recuperate enough to contest the point. Swapping back onto Hanzo for the last map of the series, Let's take another look at how Asking can use his superior DPS prowess to turn an absolute disadvantage into a point capture. Heading into the fight, we see some back and forth between the teams, nothing really happening as both slowly rotate their way towards the point. The fight tips out of favor the moment Salty's Sigma gets walled off and is forced to drop early. Managing to trade with Reinhardt before getting frozen and killed, both teams have lost a tank. However, Madero on Moira has managed to get an early coalescence due to the sheer amount of damage Skyfoxes has been putting out. This puts OMS at the advantage. Asking heads up to the high ground and continues to pump damage into Red Team, managing to get Orisa, Mei, and Moira low enough that they can eventually be finished off. With that amplification matrix, but they lose Hazard. But Elk is dead as well. Dragon Strike onto the point. 
from asking on the high ground, and it looks like Yo Yes is gonna get control first. Yo Yes finally takes control here, and this is not looking good. Asking popping oh, off asking. right now, cleaning up. Completely unchecked atop the bridge, Asking is allowed to make the best of a bad situation, and he clearly has no trouble landing crucial hits at a key moment in the match. All in all, Asking is a very capable player, clearly able to hold his own even at the highest caliber of play. While he technically is LFT, he believes he is going to quit Overwatch when Riot Games Project A releases, as various other pros have indicated interest in doing the same. What do you personally think of Asking as a player? Do you think he deserves to be on an OWL team? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.